Local 237 has about 8,000 um, employees that work for the New York City Housing Authority. On this past um, Friday, I believe it was, or was it Thursday? This past Thursday, mm -hmm. we had a city council hearing, the first of its kind in, in one of the public housing developments in Coney Island. It was historic. It was well attended, and the residents got a first uh, firsthand look at how the city council operates. Obviously, uh, public housing is uh, one of the things that I care about most deeply. I represent the Queensbridge houses, the Ravenswood houses, and the Woodside houses. I have more public housing residents in my district than any other council member in Queens. And Queensbridge houses is the largest public housing development in the country. Yes, it is. Uh, it is an enormous complex. And what we have seen is a steady disinvestment in NYCHA and an erosion in our commitment to public housing and to public housing residents so that we have uh, uh, so many uh, wonderful families uh, living in public housing but are faced with and confronting um, horrible conditions in their apartments, in their hallways, uh, in their uh, developments. And, and that hearing was uh, great. It also was part of this progressive moment and this turning point. And I certainly applaud our public housing chair, Richie Torres, who's going to be terrific. Um, obviously, our speaker, I'm on the public housing committee, so I was there at that hearing in Coney Island and thrilled to see us going out to public housing residents to speak firsthand with them about their experiences and what they're confronting and what they're facing. Um, and proud to be a part of a progressive city council that has long pushed for uh, what Mayor de Blasio has already instituted, which is no longer charging NYCHA for their uh, policing and making sure that that funding goes back to NYCHA. We need to do more of that, and I believe we will do more of that. But I am committed to making sure that every family uh, living in our NYCHA developments uh, does so in dignity as every New Yorker uh, should be entitled to. And, and so we have to recommit, reinvest in public housing. And I think we have the mayor and the city council uh, to help make that happen. Obviously, the federal government is a huge player uh, in this. And uh, we don't yet have that same commitment from uh, the Republicans in Washington, unfortunately, when it comes to public housing. But we need to do that. We have a uh, an enormous, enormous obligation uh, and, and commitment to make sure that families living in our NYCHA developments have the ability to uh, live their lives as every other New Yorker does. So I'm committed to that. I love Queensbridge, Ravenswood, and the Woodside Houses, the, the developments that I represent. And uh, I'm there all the time. Uh, we just had our big, uh, biggest event of the year, our Black History Month uh, event last year, last week, where we honored Tish James. And uh, it, it's, it's terrific. And I'm, I'm honored and blessed to be able to represent uh, those developments and your workers, because so many of your workers live in uh, the developments uh, in New York City. And it's, it's really important that we um, respect those workers, that we honor the work that they do, and that we give them the resources and the tools to be able to succeed in those very important jobs on behalf of NYCHA residents. I want to say thank you to your workers uh, and the members of your union. I don't think that we thank um, those who are doing the hard work of making sure that the city runs and, and is serving the people every day. Uh, and I think too often union members are um, beat up on and are used as scapegoats for some of the uh, financial struggles that cities and municipalities and indeed the country uh, face. So uh, I want to say thank you, first and foremost, to you for what you do and, and your members um, for what they do because they are like my parents, they are like my family, yes. and they are the ones who are the backbone of the city of New York, making sure that we um, are the city that we want to be and, and that we will continue to be that great city where everyone has an opportunity to succeed and, and everyone's child has the opportunity to do what I've done in my life, which is to go to college and, and pursue their dreams and maybe even one day get elected to office. Thank you once again for coming. Thank you. 